Oh. Whoa, I look really white. Can you see it? Yeah, that monitor, I know, but that monitor, they said don't pay okay. attention to it. All right. I know, because I'm always like, oh, it's blown I'm out. I'm a ghost. Um, Yay. Hi, welcome to Faced It, hosted by me, Tracy P. This is a brand new series where I'm going to be doing makeup tutorials with a side order of life advice. In every episode, I'm going to have a fabulous guest in my makeup chair. We chat, we sing, we laugh, and sometimes we even cry. But we never let our mascara run. Before I introduce today's guest, I want to make sure that you subscribe and make sure you click that like button. And I want to hear from you, so feel free to comment below. So, any guesses on who my first guest is? You guessed it! Tracy Moore, the host of City Line! <laughs> like 15 years? Maybe I've been 16, doing this face. Maybe 16. Maybe 16 years. She's so, seen a lot. She sees lot. my chin hairs. They're in there! <laughs> she covers them up. So today we're going to be doing a little makeup and we're going to be talking about beauty standards. Okay. Beauty standards versus like reality. There's a big difference between the bare face and the makeup face. There's and a lot that goes into it. We know, because we're in the industry, oh. how much goes into all of that. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do on her face for foundation-wise, like trying to get that flawless look. And we'll talk about our own journeys that we've gone through with foundation and trying to look flawless. Flawless. So what I do <laughs> is I go in here with a little bit of a, a, a cream foundation. Okay. And I'm just gonna like stipple the makeup on. And stippling is a technique that makeup artists use when you wanna put more makeup on. I and want you to use like a spackle, <laughs> like they do with the paint. <laughs> like get it all and like put it everywhere. But people don't realize, Trace, especially young girls, mm -hmm. like when they go on Instagram and they think everything's so flawless, it's not. First of all, there's tons of makeup on people, contouring, highlighting, and when it comes to like photo shoots and stuff, then is there editing on top of that. There's editing on top of that. And it's 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 interesting because now Eva's 11 years old, my daughter, mm -hmm. and uh, like she's oh. getting into skincare and she's like, can I try that makeup? And I'm like, you can wear whatever you want when you get to be you know, a certain age, but just understand that how you look right now with not a drop of anything on is actually like beautiful and perfection. Like never forget that. Mm -hmm. Because we're in such a world where everything is so filtered, you have to remind yourself what your real face looks like. <laughs> yeah. no. Look at the billboard of me outside. Mm -hmm. Look at how much that's been touched up. First of all, you gave me a full mask, <laughs> which I wanted. <laughs> and then they did some beautiful filters in the contrast and it's like, it's great. I look up at that billboard and I'm like, who's she? <laughs> but it's true. I see her on a Saturday morning. I go back and I look at music videos, mm -hmm. like of the 90s mm -hmm. and stuff that we liked. Yeah. And I'm looking at these girls out and I see all the work that has been done on their face in regards yeah. to makeup. Yeah. Contouring, highlighting, the professional lighting, yeah. all of that kind of stuff. The filters that are put on stuff afterwards. Yep. And I'm like, when I was a little girl, I looked at that and I thought, That's why what can't I, I look, look like, like them? Like, they're so pretty. Like, I, I want to look like that. I How come? And now that I'm trained, like, and I'm older, I'm like, oh, there's so much that goes into yeah. that. So people have to realize, like, every image you see in a magazine, online, it's all been filtered. A lot of girls are looking at the Kardashians, looking yeah. at these starlets, yeah. and they're doing that type of makeup, but they don't realize they're preparing for magazine covers. They're preparing yeah. for professionals, photo shoots. Yeah. And these girls are doing that type of makeup to go outside. To go outside. And so now when you see someone in real life and they're wearing that much makeup, mm -hmm. and it's natural light and you're at Shoppers Drug Mart, mm -hmm. and you're like, whoa. Mm -hmm. You can see all, like you can see the layers. You don't see any of that in a photo. And even though we're adults, we still fall into it. And I know it's filtered. I know it's altered. Yeah. I know all that stuff. I'm a professional and I still compare myself. It's not realistic at all. Nope, not at all. So make me look like that. <laughs> Kids, don't aspire to this, do it. <laughs> I remember when we first started working with each other, though. Yeah. You did, you wanted the full mask. I wanted full mask. You wanted the full mask. Put on everything, paint it like a Picasso. Mm -hmm. Let's go, put it all on. And then we got into the eyelashes, and I'm like, put on two pairs. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. For me, I walk out to do the show, and it's like I wanted the mask, I wanted the armor, and I, I, I felt it. like it was just part of the like part of the TV uniform. And you wanted those freckles covered. She has completely. a lot of freckles, and she wanted completely. them completely covered. Yeah. Now, how do you feel about it? Now I want them kind of out. Less. Less is more now. I know. I was a little shocked when she first was like, yeah. oh, I don't like what my freckles seen. I was like, I, I, like don't, my face. I don't know what to do now. Like, <laughs> how do I do your makeup? Like, I still have to do TV makeup, but right. you want the freckles seen? A sort little of, yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the concealer. Same thing, same stippling, just a little bit lighter color underneath her eyes. Okay. So what that does is that just brightens it up. And it also kind of creates like a higher cheekbone. Oh, okay, really I'll take have. some of that. She's so bad. you always go a little bit lighter when it comes to the concealer. Why, like, why do you do that? Because like it lightens the darkness. Almost everybody, no matter who they are, have darkness underneath mm -hmm. their eyes. Mm -hmm. Make me look not like a tired mom. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> That's what this happening. does. <laughs> That's exactly what it does. Most people's lids are a little bit darker as well. True. I want to get rid of that so I can do my art on top, you know, with the eyes. Do your art, artiste. And then I do a little bit, which is controversial. Some people are like, oh, I want to contour the nose. Contour it all, honey. Put it on. So I don't do a whole lot to her nose, <laughs> but I do contour a little bit. Just gives it a little bit of more definition and shape. It's Because you also have to remember, too, again, with studio lights, mm. everything gets washed out. So you almost have to recreate people's features or they kind of look flat. Yeah. So that's another excuse why I contour the nose. Okay. Okay. This is stuff I didn't do when I had to do my own makeup uh, while you we were in lockdown. You did a really good job, though. I would tune in and I'd be like, it looks all right. So people have chimed in before the pandemic, during the pandemic. You've got followers on social media. You've got people watching the show. Everyone has a lot to say about the lipstick you're wearing, about how your hair is, about that outfit. It's not age appropriate or it's too old for you. And it's funny, my parents had warned me about that before I even got into TV. But my goodness, social media has taken it to a whole oh, new level. Oh. It's interesting. I was just reading about Adele in that Vogue article and how hurt she was that the people who are always talking about her body seem to be women. And we get that so much yep. from women. Yep, yep. It's always women, actually, who, yeah, when I think about like people. Yeah, like, your hair me. is terrible. Uh, I hate that dark lipstick on you. Uh, oh, you've gained weight. I gained weight during the pandemic. T, who do I think I am gaining weight? Uh, okay. The person writing you about you gaining weight was also sitting on the couch gaining Having weight. Having a loaf of I bread. I guarantee you. Yes! I got so much flack for gaining weight. I had people saying things like, Tracy, you used to look so good and now you're coming out here and you've gained all this weight. And it's like, what does that have to do with who I am? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What does that have to do with who I am as a person at all? So I get it, I screenshot it, I put it away. That's my process. It's mm -hmm. like I get mad about it and then I put it away. If you are totally beholden to the people telling you you're amazing, then you're totally beholden to the people telling you that you suck. Mm -hmm. So you have to take it all as Just a cancellation. Yep. It doesn't matter, it doesn't count, but that's not to say it doesn't hurt. And also, you, you do like the compliments too, like I do. I really do. <laughs> Keep I them really coming. do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm just contouring the nose just a little bit, Tracy, but not too much. Which brings me to my next question. Hmm. How much is too much altering your pictures, altering like your gram. image? Oh my gosh, you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> know, because right? once I did, I was wearing this really tight dress for uh, an event and I had this, you know, little pooch. And so I, I used that app that will remain nameless to make my <laughs> stomach totally flat. And then I thought about it and I ended up put, posting the picture uh, with my regular stomach. And then I put both side by side months later and I just said to people, listen, here's the lesson. This is what I wanted to do. This is what I did in the end because at the end of the day, it's actually my real body and it's not that bad. Right. Like, it's not that bad like when I look at it. And, uh, and all anybody wanted to know was how I flattened my stomach. <laughs> and I was like, I feel like we missed the point. Um, They're like, that's really have... great. That's a really heartfelt lesson. What's the name of the app? <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I'm not the right person to ask what is too Me much. Either. I guess we've seen people before in real life that look nothing how they look on Instagram. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's disconcerting mm -hmm. and it's a little scary. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would ask myself the question, if someone were to see me, would they even recognize me? Because I still care about the real life, uh, fake life divide. I care about that still and I know you do too. To a degree. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm shocked and appalled when they do and mm -hmm. I'm like, you know that I'm Tracy? <laughs> how do you know? 
that I'm Tracy. I'm wearing slides with socks. Right. Maybe I've got a bonnet on. I'm taking out my garbage. Like I've got tracksuit mm -hmm. on. And like, Tracy Moore. Like what? My voice gives me away. So sometimes they'll be like, That's Are you true. Tracy? No, I'm not. Okay, so just wanna get into setting the makeup. Anytime you put any type of liquid or cream on your face, you gotta set it or it's gonna move. So I'm just gonna set your makeup right now with a little powder. And Tracy, speaking of too much, mm -hmm. do you know that there are apps out there now that can alter your vi your videos, your body in videos. Like as you are moving, your yes, body looks different. Yes, as you are moving, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's secretly like, ha, ha, ha. what's I the name try of it? it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awful. Can we do it? Can we do it? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. it. I say we try it. I say we try it. I was doing my Instagram walk. Yes. Okay, so try my waist. Let's go for the gusto. Let's go for waist three. Yeah, go for waist three. Oh, I'm slimming down. Oh, I see No, go it. all the way. Go, keep going. <laughs> right? Cinched for the gods. Now play it. Let's see if I can keep that waist. Oh, what? wow. It's actually freaky. <laughs> I'm a size six I, there. I would say it takes a whole dress size down. Yeah, at least. If I stand to the side and I hold my arms up so that they don't get in the way, I can use this little tool and I can make my stomach and my butt and just my body look different. What else can we do? <laughs> Throw it away and forget we ever found this app. <laughs> oh, you have, to, you have to spend money? Forget it. $36.99 a year, no I guess, thanks. I guess we just have to do setups. <laughs> <laughs> Money. That's pretty cool and scary. <laughs> I'm so scared for my children. I know, right? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. What a scary place. Just stay away from that app. And no, we're not giving you the name of it. I know, it's our soul, soul secret. It's our little secret that we're never going to I use. I honestly am never going to use that because if I get into that. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Yeah, it's like over. then you start tweaking and tweaking <laughs> and I'm, I'm not doing that. I just, this is, this is what you get. This is it, man. This and I'm okay get. with it. I'm all right Me with too. it. Well, thanks for watching. Face it! And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, Click. and comment below because I want to hear what you think of this very Only first nice episode. Only nice things. Only nice things. Only nice things. We don't really Say care nice about things. the mean things. Do not bother. We only want to hear nice things. Thank you very much. Please. Thanks for watching. Face it. Face it. Are you going to face it? I'm going to face it. Then face it. I'm facing it. All right. I'm laughing because Jeff went like this. I was like, he wants us to like, pause. Stop. <laughs>